Invoice batch details contain information that can be preset on distribution codes and assigned to customers. To access the distribution code setup, from the Edit menu, choose Distributions. The list of available codes is shown for editing or for creating new codes. Give the distribution code a unique value of up to six alpha numeric characters and a description to best identify the code purpose. Either type the associated ledger account and department or select it from the finder. If this distribution typically has the same amount on invoices, you may enter a default value here for new entries. Assign a tax code to the distribution for the purpose of summarizing distributions on the tax tracking report. If the line entry will not contain a tax amount, set the tax type to sale. Or if this line entry will be for just tax, then set the type to tax and enter the rate. If this line entry is for both a sale and the respective tax, choose the type Tax Included Sale to reveal and enter the tax rate and ledger tax account. For distributions with a Tax Included Sale type, you may choose to leave Ledger Account blank and add the account during invoice entry, so you don't have to create a Tax Included distribution code for every possible revenue account. The Tax Tracking Report has an option to include only those invoice details that have a distribution code attached to details, which would include all of the previously mentioned types. If the distribution ledger account is configured to track statistical units, that label will appear here for the purpose of setting a default unit value if desired for new invoices. If you regularly include the same collection of accounts on an invoice, with or without distribution codes, you may choose to create a distribution set to define that collection. From the Edit menu, choose Distribution Sets to open the list of current sets, and either create a new set or edit an existing one. Each set can have an unlimited number of details, either referring to a specific ledger account or a distribution code. You don't have to add every account to an invoice. Use the Skip Zero Detail Lines option to exclude any account for which you enter a zero amount. To add a new detail, either click the New button to add to the end of the list, or press the Insert key to add the detail above the highlighted row. Choose the desired distribution code or ledger account, and enter default values and description as desired, and click OK to save. When creating the invoice, if the distributed account for a customer is typically the same, you may choose to edit the customer and on the Accounting tab, assign a default distribution code or set or both. Recurring charge invoices may also use distribution codes for the tax tracking report. When you click the New Detail button on an invoice, the default distribution code will be loaded along with all defaulted information. Any of this can be edited, including changing the distribution code to something different, and the associated ledger account. Click the Dist Set button to select a distribution set code, with a customer default loaded if assigned. Each set detail will appear in sequence, where you only need to enter or change values as needed, and zero distributions are not added as details. When the invoice has been posted, the distribution code will appear with the invoice detail, and the ledger account summary will additionally be grouped by distribution. The customer transaction drill down will also display the distribution code with the ledger account. Speed up entering invoices by creating distribution codes for commonly used revenue accounts. For more information about Adagio Accounting, 
Use these links on screen or from the video description. Thanks for watching.